For me, this conference will, will be a successful one if two things, broadly speaking, occur. First, that some new specific proposals to deal with our problems here, and particularly in Toronto, will emerge. And second, that over coffee in the hallways, you manage to connect and emerge with new contacts and friendships. I think that events like this are extremely important because there are so many different conversations that are being had and also very similar conversations being had across Ontario, across Canada and across Toronto. So events like this actually bring together so many different groups and movements and allow the conversations to be had in one space and to also grow from there. It's important to have a space to discuss matters of inclusivity and social justice and especially in this time that is so relevant in the political scheme and the greater macro picture of social movements and the labor movement. Well, events like the Broadbent Summit uh, really help to bring progressive people together to you know, talk about uh, cutting edge uh, ideas and uh, analysis on how we can make life better for everyday families, everyday folks. Uh, it's also an opportunity for progressive people uh, and the labor movement to plot the, um, you know, plot the future and how we actually make change for the better. I think for us progressive organizers, a lot of times we, we do talk about, we focus on economic justice and social justice, but we don't think about economic issues in depth. And that provides us an opportunity to actually hear some of the ideas from the professionals and also we get to hear different voices. To hear from people who have been writing, thinking, uh, taking action and participating and organizing in their community to be able to exchange ideas, best practices and also to get to know each other about how we can organize together across sectors, across geographies, across countries and even across movements in order to create a world of social and economic justice and most of all for progress. A lot of the debates were very meaningful, especially um, there were a lot of debates from different uh, social and political perspectives, and we need to have discussions that provide um, different worldviews in order to embrace a much democratic nation. I think that uh, some, like the Progress Summit and Broadband's work convening people is crucial for, for two, two reasons. One big reason uh, is obviously setting some policy objectives and some big goal posts for organizing for the left, for progressives across Canada and in Toronto. But the reason that I like the most is the idea that there are people who want to work together who are convening and meeting each other. So there's people who are committed to building a better city, to building a better country, and they're often working in their silos and they don't get to meet. And the space that the Broadband Institute creates is a, is a networking space for people to make friendships and connections. And in my mind, that's building power.